Let's take a look at one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, wireless Android Auto to wired Android Auto adapter on Amazon. When I bought it, the price was $39.99, but I've noticed it's been slowly creeping up in price and it is now $44.99 at the time of this video. But it's still a pretty good price and a bit cheaper than the next cheapest one up. What this does is it basically plugs into your car's wired Android Auto port and acts like a wireless bridge to your phone. Your phone pairs to the adapter. The adapter then sends the signal through the USB port to your wired Android Auto receiver. What I have is a very budget or cheap Android car unit from AliExpress. It has one gigabyte of RAM. Who knows what kind of processor it really has and 32 gigabytes of storage. Trying to run an offline GPS program on this like Sigic GPS requires a lot of patience. It's very slow and it's a bit laggy. There are also no voice commands available, so inputting addresses isn't the safest thing to do while driving on this small screen and sluggish responding system. So can this $45 wireless adapter boost this budget system back into relevance? First to get Android Auto working on this cheap system, I've installed a full licensed version of Head Unit Reloaded, which turns almost any Android device into an Android Auto display. Now wireless Android Auto does work directly this way without having to put in this adapter because it can use the built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hardware. But the issue is that the Wi-Fi is 2.4 gigahertz only on this budget device and it is very slow. Check out the speed test connected to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal at my house. Compare this to a Pixel phone connected to the same 2.4 GHz signal. Since the casting uses the Wi-Fi signal, such slow performance brings out lag and music stuttering. Wired directly, it performs fine as the budget specs of the car display can handle the casting. It's basically a dumb terminal at this point, but wired is never as convenient as wireless, especially if you're going in and out of your car. What I did first was to pair up the adapter to my phone without plugging it into the Android display. So I first plugged it into a power source to power it on. My phone can then pair to it through Bluetooth to trigger wireless Android Auto. Now when the wireless adapter is detected by the Bluetooth on my phone, the phone will try to connect wireless Android Auto to it. I want to do this because if I plugged it into the display unit first, it will trigger the display to start head unit reloaded before the phone is ready to cast. Now that the phone is set up and registered to the adapter, let's get head unit reloaded ready for the wired connection. In the settings connectivity section, I recommend turning off wireless Android Auto and automatic connections to avoid any confusion on how it will connect to your phone. Now it's simply through the wired USB port. Now exit out of head unit reloaded. Now it's time to plug the adapter in to the display unit for the first time. Doing so, the Android display unit will ask what to do with it. I chose the head unit reloaded as the default app to activate always so that the process will be automated in the future. Make sure you check this box that says it's the default action. The wireless adapter powers on and connects to your phone, which starts casting to the head unit reloaded app. Because this adapter has a fast 5 GHz Wi-Fi signal, there's very little lag and the screen response is much more crisp than the native wireless Android using the display unit's weak and cheap Wi-Fi hardware. And not only that, now you have a responsive, fully functioning Android Auto system. You can use voice commands to navigate where you need to go or use whatever Google Assistant commands you like. If you have one of these budget Android car units, this is a very budget-friendly way to get responsive and convenient wireless Android Auto functioning in your car. Now when you get into your car, the phone will automatically connect to the wireless adapter and it will automatically trigger head unit reloaded to start Android Auto. It's very consistent and repeatable. I don't recommend you go out and buy these systems separately from the start just to get wireless Android Auto. But if you already have one of these systems installed, it's a good way to boost performance and make it fully functional by modern standards.